Welcome back. Curling seems to have swept the country by storm this Olympics with videos popping up left and right on social media of athletes competing and people at home even giving the sport a try. Well, curling is a sport that I've always had a fascination with but never really had the chance to try until a few weeks ago thanks to the Bozeman Curling Club. Mine's good. Curling. Sweep it! A sport that dates back to the 16th century, modernized a bit and now an Olympic sport that has been dominated by the Canadians for the last 20 years. An interesting sport with one person yelling, throwing a granite stone weighing roughly 40 pounds. And people using brooms to sweep in front. all to get your stone inside the circles at the other end of the ice. Meet Bruce Richards, the skip or captain for his team. Well, I started curling in Michigan in about 1980 and a good friend of mine said you ought to come out and try this, so I did. He was 30 years old. I just got addicted real quick. It's a fascinating game. That addiction grew into a passion and pretty soon he was climbing the ranks in the curling world. Well, I went to the Nationals in 95 and again in 2006. And even before he stepped down to the national scene, yep, yep. he tried out for the Olympic team in the 80s. I didn't get very far, but I tried. When do you get a chance to try out for the Olympics when you're just kind of average guy from Michigan? Just an average guy competing in a sport at such a high level. After picking up the broom when most competitive athletes are thinking about hanging it up, and that's one of the things Richards loves the most. You know, you can curl till you're really old, so it doesn't matter. In Bozeman, the curling club works to promote the sport and teach anyone who wants to learn. It's just one of those sports anyone can do and anyone can have fun okay. at. Taking that advice to heart, I yeah. threw oh, a stone okay. too. Nice. And after a few tries <laughs> and a few falls, <laughs> I got the hang of it. That was a good one. Nick Ground is the secretary for the Bozeman Curling Club and picked up the sport three years ago. My first game ever was everyone was over 80 years old. Really? And they were amazing. Despite the frigid temperatures, more than 40 people packed inside the foggy rink. There are 14 teams competing in this tournament, which is known in the curling world as a bond spiel from Haver, Billings, Bozeman, Missoula, even as far away as Utah. And they're all here for one reason, because they love the game. It's like a family. Or of people that once you're in the part of it everyone's your friend. It's really friendly. There are no referees. There are very few rules. And when somebody on another team makes a good shot, everybody tells them that. It's, it's, uh, it's highly competitive, but it's very civilized and friendly. A friendly game that anyone can do at any age. We had one guy in our club in Michigan who was 90 years old and he was curling. As long as you can stand on the ice, they could curl for 80 years. Curling on the Olympic stage or in your backyard. It's a sport focused on fun and relationships. Now the Bozeman Curling Club is hosting a curling bonanza extravaganza. To get more people involved in the sport, details on when that will be, you can find that on our website at ktvh.com. Now it's no secret <laughs> that McKinsey is a figure skater, so you've spent no small amount of time on the ice figure skating. Right. But is there more curling in your future? You know, and why? I hope so. It was so much fun getting a chance to get out there and try it. I've always, like I said, I've always wanted to try it. And so when I finally, I didn't realize it was, it's pretty challenging, but it's, it is a lot of fun and they're right the whole atmosphere is very relaxed and competitive but supportive and fun too i would think you would have chosen a warmer second sport <laughs> yeah well i guess what you know you go with what you're used to and there what you, you know <laughs>